So the Supercar A final. This is the big one that everybody's been waiting for. On the front of the grid, two Norwegians. An absolutely dream draw for everybody here in Norway. Tanner Faust not going to be far behind them as well. Mats Leeson out there, second in qualifying, uh, or in the heats, I should say, next to Sverre Isaksen on the front. Thomas Hekinen as well made the A final. And Tima Timajanov bringing up the rear after winning the B final. It is Sverre Isaksen away first. Mats Leeson going around the outside. It is Mats Leeson, but Mats goes for his joker lap right now. Thomas Hekinen right behind him. So it will be from Norway, Sverre Isaksen in the lead when we rejoin them out in front. There we are, Tanner Faust as well. Oh, Timmy Janov comes in front of him. And, oh, dearie me, that's a big shunt for Tanner Faust. That is actually an accident. That's just not trading uh, paintwork that time round. And uh, that will be the end of Tanner Faust's day. Uh, and I think the end of the race as well. It's been red flag because Tanner Faust is actually out of it. Uh, Tima Timajanov, once again, one of those racing incidents, unfortunately, just caught the inside of the kerb and threw him straight across the racetrack into Tanner Faust. So here we go again with only five restarting. And it's Sverre Isaksen gets away first. But Mats Leeson, oh, I was going to say, I thought Mats Leeson was going around him. He's not. He's going on his joker lap, slotting him behind him. Tima Timajanov. But out in front, Sverre Isaksen, followed by it with the Helmia Clio. Stigo Lafolfinson, two of his team cars in this final. That's him and Mats Leeson. Third place at the moment. A great day here in Norway for Thomas Hekinen with the Saab from Per Eklund from Sweden. But uh, this is a little more like it from Sverre Isaksen. This is exactly where we're used to seeing him. I think uh, it just goes to prove if he hadn't had all those engine problems in the last couple of rounds, well, he would have been, uh, well, where he normally is. It's hardly ever that we see Sverre Isaksen headed in a rallycross racer. It wasn't last summer anyway. Uh, this year hasn't been so kind to the, the big guy from Norway. So many problems with little things, and he's out there in front. So this is fourth place at the moment, Mats Leeson. And uh, this is uh, only the second time Mats hasn't been in the lead as well. Tima Timajanov right on his tail as well. The man from Russia having a really good time here in Norway, apart from the incident, obviously, with Tanner Faust. And uh, it's just a big shame for the man from America that he didn't get to take part in the rerun of this same final. But I'm guessing too much damage to the car to be fixed in the short space of time between the wet red flag and them lining up one more time. So Stigo de Fulfordson right there. Goes around his regular lap. Thomas Heckenen goes the long way around this time round. Let's see where he slots into the order. The other guys at the back have already been on their joker laps. And uh, here he comes. But in front of him is Mats Leeson and Tima Timajanov. So those three guys have been on their joker lap. So from winning the B final, Tima Timajanov now in a very strong position in the A final as well. He's trying to keep the man from Finland at bay. And uh, anybody that knows anything about more motorsport will tell you that uh, Finns are some of the most difficult people in the world to get around. Uh, as the old saying goes, if you want to win, you hire a Finn because they really are lethal on any kind of racing circuit. So Thomas Heckenden doing a fantastic four-wheel burnout round the corner. But for now, Sverre Isaksen out in the lead. Still got a couple of laps to go. This is his last regular lap before he has to go on his joker lap, that extra corner on the circuit. Tima Timajanov in front of Stigalov Wolfridsson and uh, quite a way behind them now uh, is Thomas Ekin. I can only assume he's actually got a problem because it's not unusual to see Thomas going that slowly. But Timajanov from winning the B final, like I said, doing very, very well in this A final. So let's see how it shakes out this time round. Here goes Sverre Isaksen on his joker lap. Let's see if anybody can get round inside him. We're going to have a perfect view on board this time with Sverre. Look out the right side of your window. And Mats Leeson takes him. Unbelievably, the young man from Norway takes Sverre Isaksen for the lead in this A final in the supercars. That's what we love about Rallycross. It's Russian roulette on four wheels. What an awesome driving job from the man from Norway, the young guy from Norway as well. And it looks like if it finishes like this, it's going to be a Norwegian 1-2 at their home race. Nothing will please the home crowd, all the Norwegians and everybody watching on TV more than this. Mats Leeson takes his first ever win in the supercars in the A final. You can see him going absolutely mad inside the car. He's going to be one happy young man.